Hello, and welcome to the last lecture in this series on neural networks. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about learning. Now, learning here just means using our cost function that we talked about in the previous video uh, to tweak our values um, in our layers to get more accurate and confident responses from the network. So let's imagine for a moment um, that we have a vector uh, in, uh, of our first layer, uh, as our, of our first layer of neurons. Remember, a neuron is just, um, a neuron just holds a number, it is a number, um, and so a layer is just a vector of numbers. Um, so let's say um, we're going to use one neuron as, our, as a binary classifier for simplicity's sake, and we are going to uh, say our vector of our previous layer is four-dimensional, um, and we'll say it's two, one, negative 0.5 and negative 3. So all we need to do to get new weights is to uh, dot product uh, whatever our error is going to be, let's say our error is 0.5, um, with a vector uh, of our previous layer. Sorry, uh, I said error, I meant to say cost. So 0.5 is our cost. So all we need to do uh, is get a dot product of our cost value and our previous layer. So that's going to result in, um, we multiply these together, so we get 1 plus 0.5 plus negative 0.25 uh, plus negative 1.5. So the resulting value is going to be negative 0.25. So as you can see, this negative 3, um, you know, it pulled the most weight uh, as the biggest number. Um, so we can add, uh, we can then add uh, this value to uh, all of our corresponding weights. Um, so positive values are going to induce positive changes on the weights. Negative values are going to induce a negative change on our weights. Uh, less important neurons are going to be multiplied by uh, smaller numbers, and the connections between them are going to become weaker, and uh, vice versa. So if you had more than one layer, uh, you'd simply swap out the output layer for the uh, next layer in the neuron and the weights. So instead of getting a dot product of our error for the output in the neuron, we'd get the dot, dot product for the um, output layer's cost in the first layer of weights. And then we'd use that as the error for the first layer when calculating the cost. So that might have seemed a little confusing, so um, I'll draw it up for this as well. So. Here we have a uh, a three we have a three layer network. We can have a cost here. We will have uh, some weights here. So we'll do three, two, negative one, negative four, um, and then we can fill in this neuron. And now all we need to do um, is we just need to get the um, dot product of this output, this cost, and these weights. Because uh, if we want to see how much we want to affect uh, the first layer and its weights, we need to get the effect of that by doing the dot product of the connections and not getting the dot product of the layer itself. So we can do that. Uh, we'll get 1.5 plus 1, uh, minus 0.5, uh, minus 2. And then adding all that up, we should get uh, 0. <laughs> I'm just doing these randomly out, but yeah, we're going to get 0. So yeah, um, if you've got a three layer and then going back um, even further, uh, you use that uh, as your error and then you can do the same thing with the confidence um, to get the error of your first layer and then going back to do that um, to, uh, and then using that, you can go back. So it, this sort of back 
propagates in a way. There's a little more of an advanced method of back propagation using calculus that I'm not going to explain, um, but I'll link a video to that in the description uh, by three blue one brown um, because this is sort of like a miniature network. Uh, we don't go into the calculus and the chain rule stuff about how we can back propagate using that. So uh, when I get back, we are going to do uh, some uh, actual coding. We're going to code a neural network from scratch. So get ready for that.